Cabo San Lucas travel rod. See if we can't uh, pull off some sort of miracle. Just a 6'6", six, six, four piece travel rod. It'd be cool to have like a 10 or 12 footer out here, but it is what it is. See if we can't pull on something. Only bought two lures on this trip. One Kalisa Sardine Glow and one Pink Face. Bob the accomplice over here. <laughs> I may have persuaded him into coming fishing. <laughs> Small rod. Oh, water's warm. There's bait! Jack, baby, Jack! Yeah! <laughs> I think this is a Jack. I don't know. I don't really know what this is, guys. But that thing's sick. That thing's sick. So we're actually just out here, uh, not too far from the hotel. I don't even have pliers. This is terrible. But. Whatever it is, it's gorgeous. I did catch some sand crabs. We'll get a fish ID and I'll, uh, well, careful, post it, but that's a pretty cool fish. First surf fish in Cabo San Lucas. Dope, man. Super stoked. Beautiful fish. It's got these spines on the top. Oh, that's sharp, man. And it's got the, the big, big fins up here. It's beautiful. I'll find out what it is. Don't want to get too close to the water. It's pretty gnarly. Got him right in the surf zone. <laughs> Dope. I saw like bait swirling. So I was like, all right. And I did catch a sand crab earlier. So I, that might be what they're feeding on. If anyone knows what that was, leave it in the comments. That thing hit hard. It's like their version of Surf Perch. Hit hard, hit than surf perch? Pro ah, about the same. It hit like a 10 inch Surf Perch. Yeah, we were just sitting in the hotel and Bob was like, you wanna just make a couple casts? Cause he knew I brought my travel rod and a couple Kalisas. So I was like, all right, let's do it. Let's go. Let's just give it a shot. But yeah, these Kalisa 110s are really, really hard to uh, resist for predatory fish. Up and down California. We're at the most southern point of California. It's technically Mexico, but it's like all the same coastline. Let's see what else is out here, man. I wanna, I wanna see if I can't catch something else. Wonder what other species are in here. What else is out here? <laughs> Every now and then you could see something pop in. I think they get halibut down here too. Bait, 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 bait. 
There's bait, a lot of bait. After that wave. Oh, I see it. Right where I casted. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right where you casted. I'm gonna hook up, dude, on something. Can you imagine a mahi right here? Yeah. Anything will eat the Kalisa, dude. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, what? I got popped. Oh, oh, I got popped twice. I got popped twice. That's probably more of those little things. More of those same little fish. Something. Yeah, dude. Hey, oh! Again, again. Yeah, I'm getting bit. Try to get behind this coming wave right here. The tide's coming up, it seems. Oh, Oh, I thought I snapped my rod, but I didn't. Yeah, this is a St. Croix 6'6 medium, fast action, six to 12 pounds, casts up to five eighths ounces, which is perfect for this Kalisa. Five eighths ounces is exactly what it weighs. So this is the top of its spectrum. So for a 6'6 rod, it definitely casts decent. Picked it up in Montana. but we got a fish on it, so that was good. Probably give it another 15 minutes or so. Yeah, I didn't want to bring a tube with like my real surf rods or anything this trip. Maybe next time, but this will definitely do. That pelican just dove on something. What other color does it have? The one with the pink? Okay. I'm not, I'll just go until my battery's dead. It's almost dead. Yeah, like 15 more minutes. Yeah, back there. In the back, I can see it flickering back there. Yeah, dude, we would. Like where the almost is. I mean, it's too far to gas. Oh, yeah. That'd be sick, dude. Something to smoke it, dude. Smoke it. Oh! Oh, needle fish! Oh! What? Woohoo! <laughs> ah, come here! No, it's a, it's a, I think it's a needlefish. But he's got some teeth all right guys last minute got this guy think it's a needlefish 
Look at those teeth, guys. I'm not sure exactly what it is, but it's got some beautiful colors. It's got some crazy teeth for sure. That's so sick. So sick. Just a bunch of little tiny bait fish that this thing is going for right in a trough right at the shore. We'll put them back. There he goes. Whew, that was dope. Two different species. We'll get a proper identification. It'll be a pinned comment what exactly those were. But I have caught one of those in Costa Rica, but that was dope. Bob was all, hey, what color are you throwing? Sardine glow. He's all, what other colors did you bring? Oh, the, the pink faced Kalisa. And switched and it worked after the color change. How much is that little travel rod? I think I got this travel rod for like, I don't know. 90 bucks i think yeah that's true. yeah it's a st croix so it's really yeah, nice st croix is good packs up nice and tight yeah you can just put it in your, in your luggage yep no big deal goes into the little check-in nope it's you probably get a little bit longer super one, light though. yeah maybe a little bit longer but four piece yeah yeah oh yeah travel rod two species kalisa and so by the way we may or may not be allowed to fish here but we have our licenses actually the hotel doesn't want us to fish that's what it is they feel like it's a liability so and i think down here it doesn't matter it's not in front of the hotel anymore but we're still a guest so i think they don't want to be liable but anyway we didn't fish we didn't do any fishing <laughs> So yeah, we're gonna go to the hotel now. We're done. Thank you guys for watching. Like this video up if you like the Cabo videos. We'll do more in the future. We'll catch you guys later. Bye for now.